Welcome to Mull. 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 If truth be told, I've wanted to travel to Mull for years. It's one of those places that sits in wildlife photography folklore. And until you've been there and witnessed it, it's very hard to appreciate just how special a place it is. Stay tuned and join me as I explore this spectacular island. Disclaimer, we travelled to Mull in late August of 2023 and the weather was unseasonably bad. We had pretty much wall-to-wall -wall rain, high winds and the temperature was pretty low. We'd packed for every season as you would expect travelling to Scotland and particularly one of the Scottish Isles. But the only clothing that we really wore were our winter weight clothes and waterproofs. Come to Mole, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Well, the fact of the matter is, it is fun. And I'm literally just looking at Dog Otter, which is probably about 100 meters away. Mole's diverse environment characterised by its rocky shores, kelp forests, freshwater locks and abundant populations of fish creates a perfect home for otters. Wow, that was incredible. Um, just had half an hour with an otter. Having a bit of a preen on the on the kelp and the light's not great and it's obviously been raining but first really good encounter with an otter and it was just amazing to be in the company um, tried to do everything I could to follow the rules, staying downwind edging closer and I'm fairly confident it didn't even know that I was there so amazing amazing otter encounter
as well as its obvious main attractions of otters, red deer, eagles and other species of raptors, there were plenty of smaller birds to see as well. White-tailed eagles were once widespread in the UK, but they were driven to extinction in the early 20th century due to persecution and habitat loss. They were successfully reintroduced to Scotland, including the Isle of Mull, as part of a conservation effort, and today are considered a conservation success story with a growing population. White-tailed eagles are one of the largest eagles in the world. They've got a distinctive appearance with a white head and tail, a large yellow beak, and strong talons and adults can have a wingspan of up to eight feet or two and a half meters. White-tailed eagles on the Isle of Mull typically nest in large trees or on rocky cliffs along the coast. They build large nests called eyries, which they use for breeding and raising their chicks. Breeding pairs are known to be territorial and can occupy the same territory for many years. Eagles are primarily fish eagles and they often hunt for fish in coastal waters or inland locks. They're known for their impressive hunting dives where they can reach speeds of up to 75 miles an hour to catch fish near the surface. They also feed on birds, small mammals and carrion.
notice the difference in appearance between the juvenile on the left and the adult on the right. Stood at the Alva Ferry waiting for malt charters. Cannot wait. As with the rest of our trip to Mull, unfortunately the weather really didn't favour us on the day that we went out with Mull charters. It was pretty much horrific rain for the entire trip, apart from about half an hour or so towards the end when we got some respite. It meant that the light wasn't great and conditions certainly didn't favour good photography. But we managed to get some video, some images, and most importantly were able to witness these phenomenal creatures at close quarters. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of the same content, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything, and it means so much to me. It also helps me to get the word out there about our phenomenal wildlife to a bigger community. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.